Welcome back to the vlog. I It's been a while and I'm really excited to film this one because I actually often struggle with feeling really overwhelmed, having my nervous system being kind of out of whack and feeling anxious. So I figured to kind of make a video about what I do when I don't feel good, like the tools I use and whatnot. And I actually just got a package in from Comfort Clothing and it is a jogger set that is literally designed for people with an anxiety. So let's unpack it. Today is one of those days that I just don't feel good mentally. So this came into perfect timing and filming this is just a very realistic way of me self-suiting because I'm literally not feeling good. So I made decaf coffee instead of regular coffee because otherwise it just like triggers me not feeling good even worse. Um, so yeah, let's unwrap this. Oh, the color, the color is absolutely stunning. I love a good gray. This is really pretty. I was honestly in a need of a new jogger set. I'm like one of those people that every time I go travel, I just have this need to buy a new travel set. Even though I travel so often, like it's ridiculous that I feel the need to buy a new set every time I travel. Very picky when it comes to fabrics, like Milton agrees. Like I'm so picky when it comes to fabrics because like if something like feels cheap or looks cheap, and just not like not a quality i won't wear it like i'm really weird with that so let me put it on all right first thoughts it's really fucking comfortable like i haven't worn a sweatsuit this comfortable in a while seriously so comfortable like it's actually like you can feel the quality and as i said like i'm such a um, picky person when it comes to fabrics and this definitely makes the cut. It's been so cuddly today. <laughs> He's been so needy today. He's literally shoving his butt in the camera right now. <laughs> All right. Cat butt. Yeah, you can't show your butt. Do I smell good? No? Oh boy. <laughs> what you doing? Super comfy. Milton, it is super comfy. Oh, Milton wants to try it out too. You heard it's comfy, you wanna try it out? You can. No? Oh, your paws are wet, now there's stains on it. All right, Milton just stepped on me with his wet paws, so these are not stains, it's just water. But yeah, so comfortable. And I I am 5'10", and I went for medium in pants, and they're actually long enough, which is a surprise, because usually they're not. And for the hoodie, I went with a large. I love an oversized look. So comfy. Crazy cats over here. What is it that you want to say? But what does it mean? Mm -hmm. 
If only we could speak cat. That they really feel your energy and how giving them pets helps them feel better and also you according to studies. So maybe it's just feeling that I'm just not feeling 100% today as I'm like anxious and stressed out. If you have cats, you understand just the joy of them willing and wanting to hang out with you because I always just feel so happy that they do. But they do also make my rug very dirty with their fur. Whenever I feel anxious, I always really try to eat stuff that I know will make me feel better and not worse. So I'm gonna make some gluten-free toast right now with some avocado, which is good for your brain. I tested out so many gluten-free breads and this is definitely one of my favorites to just have in the freezer, it's easy. I don't really eat a lot of pro set, like processed items anymore because it just doesn't make me feel good. But, should I do them a little longer? I made it like sweet and spicy, so I put honey on there and then red pepper flakes and a little bit of salt and garlic. Obsessed. What I was saying downstairs is that I really have been trying to eat less processed food because I feel like processed food has not making me feel good. Even the gluten-free stuff just like literally doesn't make me feel good. I really started to notice these things to pay attention to how I felt and what I was eating. Nothing beats opening a new liquid death. I've been really trying to notice to see what makes me feel good and what doesn't. And I just feel whenever I eat like potatoes and rice, I feel great. But whenever I eat stuff, whenever it's gluten free or not, that is more processed like bread and pasta. It just doesn't make me feel good. I feel like a lot more lethargic and slow and bloated and stuff and when i don't eat those kind of things i feel so much better so i often eat rice cakes with cheese as well as a snack and i feel like that's always been a really good go-to of mine since i was a child that makes me feel good um so i've just been paying attention to that and a lot of like mental health stuff can also come from the things you eat you know so i think that that is really important to to what you eat and how it makes you feel i stir away from most sugary things like i definitely have my coffee with some syrup but i don't eat like the overly processed things like if i eat cho chocolate if i eat chocolate i go for who kitchen chocolate stuff like that um i'm currently also obsessed i've been sipping on this it's the brand maya well it's like a prebiotic kind of like kind of like um it's kind of like poppy that you obviously know because like everyone has been obsessed with poppy but this one is called maya well the brand is actually austin local brand but i think it's really cool about it is uh, because this specific flavor is pear and i i love pear flavored things like pear is such an underrated flavor for anything i feel like people majority go for like tropical or like berry and stuff but i feel like pear is so underrated and i love that they have a pear one it's so good they definitely sell locally here in a, at a couple of spots but i'm not sure nationwide where they sell it but i will let link it from amazon or something below because like you have to try it if you love the, a pear flavor you have to try it in the netherlands where i'm from they actually also have a pear flavored like popsicle it was made with actual pear juice and it's so good like in the summer that was always my go-to whenever eating like any sort of ice cream that was always what i would eat i also just took two of these i also just took two of these i love array they're calming i love array they're calming supplements i've tried so many different calming supplements and this is what i'm currently using and i really love it has like a lot of magnesium um, it doesn't have ashwagandha, but it does have like passion flower, which is like a really good blend as well. Um, so, but yeah, I love ashwagandha as well. This just like helps to regulate your nervous system. I just feel like I've been really, I have just been so busy with really exciting things, but that can also just be really stressful. And especially 
what I've noticed is like when you really are working on things that you really really believe in and it's like literally it's like the best and the most amazing thing you've ever wished to be doing it makes it so much more terrifying I have been working so hard on launching my brand Rebel June it's gonna launch in November and it's been a year of extremely hard work and figuring things out to bring my vision to life and I'm so excited about it but it's also absolutely terrifying because like you work so hard on a thing and you just hope that people you know want to buy it and that's just really scary but I yeah just hoping for the best and I believe in the product so and a lot of my friends that I know will be honest also really love it so one of the things I also live by when I'm anxious or not feeling good is having a to-do list and it's not and with that I don't mean that you have to actually do the things on your to-do list right now if you're really feeling really overwhelmed and just not good I love this one and then I have this one from a uh, form um, I'll link that one below this one I use every day I even have my Google account and everything but like I love writing down step by step what I really need to do like I write down the little things like I write everything down like ads that I need to film like even like emails that I have to send like oh I need to send this email to this person I write it on here because otherwise everything will keep being in your head and you will just like go in circles like oh I still need to email Amanda oh I still need to email Amanda you know like it will just like be lingering in your mind and it just makes you more stressed out so I always write everything down because that's just so much better for my mind and I think that that's a really helpful thing if you're really overwhelmed is to write things down because usually you having all these thoughts go in your head or you just like putting something off but constantly thinking about it actually takes more energy and makes you more unhappy than actually doing the damn thing you know so i always think that that's a really good thing that i just like always do it's like one of the first things i do every morning let's pull an affirmation card i designed these last year with one of my best friends she's a tattoo artist and she the one i pulled for today This is a weighted blanket that I absolutely love because it actually looks really pretty and I feel most of the times weighted blankets don't look good and this is just amazing. We have it on our bed so I can just grab it at night in case I need it if I feel like I'm overwhelmed and my nervous system is overwhelmed. Before I take a bed, I always set some stuff down on my nightstand and one of these things today is a so i set my water in my stanley cup down there and then also leaving a snack uh leaving this one for now uh, i obsessed with this one the ingredients are so good and i'm on my period so you know the drill and lately i have also been taking this sleep uh powder um you add it with water and look at the flavors ginger pear as I said earlier, there's like not a lot of brands out there that actually use pear as a flavor and this is so good. I wish they actually made it in like a whole drink, not just like a sleep, a sleep um, powder. It has like magnesium, I think small bits of melatonin, but god, it's, it makes me sleep so good. I even brought them on my trip to New York, to the mountains in North Carolina last week. I, I love it. So I put that there as well. I'm going to take a bat right now, but thank you so much for watching. I hope any of these tips were helpful and see you next. Lighting a new candle. This is De-Stress from Neom.
gonna use a backbone tonight. Going first with this one, one of my favorites. This one is one of my favorites, and I will show you in a second. Favorites is the butter ball, but it's actually like in a bear shape for just the holidays, but it's so good. At least your skin's so, so soft. Every day I read a page out of this book, which is so nice. And then I just started reading this book. I'm really excited about it. I've been wanting to read it for a while. So ending the vlog here. Thank you for watching.